I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you're doing. You knew how it was gonna go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in the newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I, I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times did we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did something, folks come around and help us. White, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it. You know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I... I never wanted this for you, Lincoln. I wanted you to have a good life. Burke. Been a while. Lincoln Clay. Jesus Christ on the cross. Now it's in everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. What the fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. They want my help. The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidon back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. Hey, no, fuck off. I've all the chalky bastards once already. Look where I got me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You less than that, you less than God, you fuck. <laughs> Danny was so buttoned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. Anyone's killing that fucking Marcano. That's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. There's more stones in the likes of you that are a fucking off. A fucking ingrate. Coming to your question, me. You and your kind, you are caught down wrong at the first sign of trouble. You always have, you always will. your ass back down. We going for a ride. What a crazy you think you're doing. You were bragging about your stones, so I figured we'd take a little ride. See who cracks first. The Chalky or the Mick. Pick the wrong man to call out. Come on, old man. It ain't the whiskey turning you green. Pick the wrong man to call out. You ain't proving nothing. Chucky, ready the piss flaps of this, Molly. Holy mother, harangue a jarrick. Relax the cocks already. I got drinking to do. Pull over here. Now, get the fuck out of my raid. Give me time to sober up, then come see me. I think we can work something out.
back so soon, then. Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? Well, he's a right fucking cunt. I can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow out of the Sweetwater Distillery. Splow. Panther's piss. White mule. Alley gin. Potchain. Moonshine. You ignorant fuck. Christ, what kind of booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kind is not called painter's piss. <laughs> Boy, you ain't lived. Set the whole thing up myself. And that gunny fuck comes in and takes it from me. Smashes me knee all to hell. Barbieri's gonna suffer. You hear? Days. Slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? I run is that old Robert O. Slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribe. Drags in there. That's the end of you. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. Uh -huh. Once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. Oh, I'll do more than step up. I'd either be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, it'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> and yes, you know it once again. A nation once again. Ireland long, a province be a nation once again. Lincoln, over here. Surprised to see you, Nikki. I know what you're planning on doing. And I couldn't just sit here and watch my old man send you out half-cocked. Fuck. Man, your dad's never been much for details. Yeah, what he didn't tell you is that the man running the Sweetwater Distillery is named Carl Bevers. Hard ass Country asshole. His family runs the shine through the business, sells it to local shops. Bevers ever let on to where he keeps his stills? Uh, he's got brains enough to move things around. Rumor is, he's got a map hit somewhere for his drivers. Hmm. Something like that could come in handy. Maybe I'll convince one of his men to tell me where it is. Hey, we've got another man. Goes by the name of Bear. Keeping an eye on the meatpacking plant. You should go see him. I'll do that. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Lincoln. You want to know what Bevers is up to, you're gonna have to get at some of his people. And Burke says you're the only person we're talking to about it. Well, Burke's a fucking genius in that regard. I'll head on out to you now. Four wheels and an engine. You're set. That's a big help. Time for yawning.
Shit got himself dead. We got a man. wants to send me down to deal with those country motherfuckers, he's gonna need to start kicking out hands of pain. Tell me what you know about the Sweetwater Distillery. All the cash we bring in from selling hooch, I know where it's being stashed. From now on, my crew is your crew. You gotta say.
I've got in deep to Barbier. I've seen him the Rapidos. But if he did, we wouldn't be having this conversation. folks in Florida. Hmm. I learned the hard way this is where you don't want to be around. This some bitch has a gun. Where do you think you're uh. going? Going to bury? Oh, I think oh, he is. is. Let's go. Let's go. Code 35. Suspicious person on foot. Oh, for be advised. Suspect now in a vehicle. Bevis can't be happy about what you've been doing to the distilleries. You got Carl's attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Bevis is waiting for you. Real interested to see how you handle him. I need resupply and point for done. Going at ya. Shit, I'm caught up at the moment. Apologies. I need resupply and point for done. Be out directly. Please be more careful. Anything Let me see what you, what you got. Don't kill me. I'm out of here.
asshole if this ain't real. <laughs> Too much. Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. Offer's still standing. My boys are on the way. Slash that slaughterhouse from him, and that fuck Barbieri will have to react. Thomas Burke came to the States as a boy uh, when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he wasn't Italian. 